What's up guys, David here. Today I'm going to show you how to add interior elevations to your kitchen or whatever part of your house you need elevations at. So to do this, you want to make sure you are in your first floor or wherever you want to be in. I'm going to do interior elevations of the kitchen so I can also be in my kitchen callout. And now what you want to do is go to up to view and then click on elevation. And now over here in your properties box, you just have to make sure it is a interior elevation. And you will know it's a interior one if it is a circle. If it's a square, just make sure you change it to interior. So what you want to do is then click. And now right here you can see this black arrow. That's where the actual camera is pointing at. So we do not want it to point at that wall because there is no cabinets or anything over there. So what I'm going to do is click on the circle and I'm going to uncheck that one it's going to ask me to delete it I will click OK and I actually want this side and this side so I'm going to click the two check marks right there and then now you want to click on the black area of the elevations and you will see this line appear you want to drag that line as close to the cabinets as you can without touching them or just get it very close and then this one too I'll drag it as close as I can get it to the refrigerator without touching it now I'm gonna come down here in my project browser and scroll down and you will see a thing that says elevations but interior elevations so I'm gonna click the plus and now you will see the elevation 1b which is this side and the elevation 1c which is this side so I'm going to do 1B first. I'm going to click. Now as you can see it brings in this full view and we only want this smaller kitchen view. So you can click on this box here and drag it to be a lot smaller. Now also I'm going to drag this one to the floor and then now I'm going to hide the first floor text here because we do not need that now what you need to do here is annotate how tall the cabinets are and how far they are away from each other so to do that what you want to do is go to annotate aligned and you want to go from the floor to the top of the countertop on the base one then you want to go to the bottom of this cabinet right here then the bottom of that one to this one here and then just to finish it off go to the top of that one and click and now as you can see these numbers are pretty big so what I'm gonna do is click on them click edit type make sure you click duplicate and then just click OK then scroll way down in this box here and you'll see text size I'm gonna change this to 1 8 and then click OK and now as you can see those numbers are much better size you also want to make sure all your lines are off your drawing so to do that you just want to click on your annotations and then you'll see these little circles that you can drag here I'm just gonna make sure these are all the way off the drawing and there you go now I have a annotated kitchen view but as you can see right here this doesn't look like a normal cabinet that's because this is the side of the cabinet of the other piece of the kitchen so we need to tell the homeowner that that is a different part of the kitchen so to do that we want to box it off what you want to do is go to annotate and then region and now here it's going to bring you in this create filled region boundary and now what you want to do is basically draw all the way around this cabinet here so usually I would get every little spot here but for the purpose of this video I'm just going to go real fast alright now what I'm going to do once I have this boxed in is I'm going to click the check and as you can see now it it adds this black box to the cabinet now yours might have a crosshatch appearance so to change that all you have to do is click on your region here click edit type and then under fill pattern click on that click on the little box with three dots and then here's a bunch of different patterns you can choose so I just choose the solid fill here and then click OK OK once again 
Now I also have to do that for this upper cabinet here. So I'm going to click region once again, and this one's nice and easy. It's just a square. So I will just draw a square around that, and then click the check. As you can see, now that is filled off too. Now we also have to annotate the other elevation, so I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to shrink this box once again. And since these windows and doors are actually way back, I'm just going to hide them. They're not a part of the kitchen. And then I'm also going to hide this wall here. Now I can shrink up this box a little more. Drag that one to the floor. Drag that one in. And then now, once again, hide this first floor text. I'm going to annotate the same thing. This side's a little bit different because I do not have cabinets all the way around there. So what I'm going to do is just go from the floor to the top of the countertop and then just to the bottom of this cabinet and then to the very top. And then click. Now just to keep the text the same size, I'm going to come in here and change it to Arial Text 3 because that's what I made 1 eighth before. And now as you can see, that is labeled. And we just have to box off these cabinets once again. So back to region. Zoom in here. I'll be more detailed this time. And as long as they're two different complete paths, you can do both without clicking the check. You can do both at the same time. So I'll just do that real fast. I go around each part of the countertop, the doors here. And I will go all the way back up to the top. And once I did, just click the check. Now as you can see, those are blacked off as well. So if this video helped you out, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more. I will see you in the next video.